100 staff members. My staff number is 712. 712? <laughs> yeah, 712. Mm. So it was a small bank. But what is interesting is how the growth has happened. Mm -hmm. Because if you are to compare that now, we, we, we actually hit the 1 million client mark in 2006. Wow. And do you know what had happened in 2006? Uh -huh. Let me just say also, mm. as somebody who's tech savvy, so much is happening mm -hmm. at this crucial time called 2001, 2002. Mm. We're talking about the mobile money, which is a huge phenomenon, maybe coming in around that time, if I'm not wrong. Uh, uh, but then we're also talking about 2002 and change of regime. Yes. You, even, you even clearly mentioned it in terms of the hope. So by the time now, now we can continue with the story because you've beautifully explained this history. I have understood it and I'm just like, wow. They, he was providing a solution mm. hence that birthed this mm. building uh, society. Mm. So by the time he's, um, uh, they're coming back to you and telling you, we need now your help, what does that mean now? Uh, or, 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 or let me just say continue now from that. Now to do the conversion. Yes. So, you, you know, by this time I had worked with equity for about two years mm. as an external counsel. Because remember, I was acting from my office. Yes. So I started the project. I had no issue because now they were my client and they were giving me more business. Mm. But then at some point, what I realized is that the project was so time consuming. I was having less and less time for my office. Mm. So <laughs> I'm almost now becoming permanent yes. in equity. Yep. So We're I, an employee who's not an employee. Yes, and, and <laughs> an now by this employee. time, James has become the CEO. Oh, okay. And uh, I tell him, okay, now, James, I'm sorry, but this project is not leaving me any time for my office because I'm spending 100% of my time here because there are too many issues. There are, there are too many things that Needs. need to be done. Mm. There are regulatory issues, there are communication issues, there are operational issues, there are branding issues. There. So it's a big project the conversion so he was like why is that a problem <laughs> <laughs> if you know james you know, <laughs> that's what it is. so what's the problem <laughs> i don't hear any problem why, why don't you come over permanently wow that's how i became an employee in 2004 yeah but you know you say it like it's an easy decision no it wasn't easy yeah so what made you decide yeah. i mean you've been building this baby i know yes. you from your story you, you've you've made it sound like you wanted more Mm. But it doesn't sound like that you wanted more had to do with this. No, actually. In fact, you had studied human rights, as you were saying. No, and, and I had actually just opened an office in Nyeri under my farm. So how many employees do you have? So understand? that offer actually came just like a month into wow, wow, my setting wow, up wow, an wow, office wow, in Nyeri. Wow, wow. So I had now to make a hard decision. So should I join equity full time? Should I join equity full time? Or should I say no? If I say no, I'm saying no to this project because it certainly requires more time. Mm. So I thought about it and um, eventually I decided. Fortunately, you see, by this time I have had a chance to understand the business model of equity yes. because I had worked very closely with mm. equity. And it sort of seemed to um, satisfy my expectation on how I can create impact. Ah, Remember I was talking about yes, impact. I'm not feeling like I'm, I'm able to create the impact I want in my law firm. So it almost like provided an answer mm. to what I wanted to do in the next phase. So I said yes. I get it. Yeah. You had employees at this time? Yes, I had employees. So I had to, I, I actually... Um, I had an assistant, so I left the office to the assistant for a while. But then again, I realized, okay, I, I have to make a decision mm. because, you know, legal practice is very personal. Yes. And, and I also don't want to incur any liabilities mm. uh, because the firm is still in my name. Yep. So eventually I transferred it to somebody else. Wow. Yeah, and then I went full-time to equity. 
2004. <laughs> 20 years ago. <laughs> so when I tell my young friends, oh, I've been in equity now 20 years, they look at me very surprised. They're, when you have nowhere else to go? <laughs> <laughs> and technically, you've been with them more longer. Yeah, it's, it's been more than yes, 20 as years. As an employee. Too, if I count yes. the time when I was external. Yeah. But, you know, I tell them, it's because I really found a purpose in equity. And I've enjoyed each and every moment that I spent in equity. Okay. Because for every action, you see the impact. Mm. For every action, I see the impact. And I ask myself, what else would I rather be doing okay. other than this? Yeah. Ah, by the way, we've just started this story. Mm. Hey, hey, hey. Mm. So when does the transition, so you, you become 2004, mm. when does equity become a bank officially? Uh, 31st of December 2004. Ooh. Yeah, so that the was the day. target, yes. the last day of 2004, because we said we want to open 2005 as a commercial bank. So even the audited accounts for 2004, now they had performance of equity building society and equity bank because it had just been formed mm. and then the transfer done. So you officially transitioned 31st December 2004 and, and opened 2005 as equity, equity. bank limited. And you joined on 2004 when? September. September. Permanently. Permanently. Yes. And yes. what is at that time? What is your what is your title and what is your role? I joined us. Entrepreneur. Remember, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, I'm a lawyer. Yeah, yes. <laughs> so my offer letter uh, of employment was legal services manager. Mm. So I was the legal services manager. And one of the other things that I did at that point was to set up the legal department ah, okay. because they didn't have one legal department at that time. Mm. Uh, so I set up the legal department, but I was also the secretary to the board mm. at that point in time. Okay. So those were the two roles that I did. Okay. And the next project I did was um, the listing. Ah, before even we get the listing, yeah, yes. 2005, first January. Yes. How many branches do you have? By that time, we had 18 branches. Uh, around in across how many counties or or, or what are you implying? I know, like like, like, <laughs> like how in, in 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 how many different places were you? We had was branches. it in Nairobi, but then Nairobi, <laughs> the other side of Lithuania <laughs> Avenue. <laughs> I know what you're driving at. <laughs> so that time. The branch network was concentrated in central province, uh -huh. and that is just because equity was started in central province. Oh, okay. And then we had some branches in Nairobi. Okay. And we had a branch in Nakuru and a branch in Meru. Mm. So those were the initial 18 branches. By the time now I came in permanently. Mm. Now, the first strategy was actually to grow the branch network because we say there's no way we can serve the people if we don't have presence. Okay. People have to have a facility where they can go. So there was a rapid branch expansion program. This is 2005? Now, from 2005. Okay. And remember, we also had the money because we had been funded uh -huh. at the time of conversion. This one point? One no, no. We got another 750 million what? Which we raised. USD? No, no, no. Kenya shillings. Kenya shillings, uh -huh. It was 10,000. Uh, it was uh, 10, how much was it? At that time, it was um, 10 million. Okay. Uh, 10 million USD. Okay. Which worked to about 750 million shillings. Million Kenya shillings. Yes. So we had a private placement. This is when Britain became an investor. And uh, we also had a few private investors who came it. in and joined and, and they raised 10 mm, million mm, mm, mm. USD. And that is what funded the next phase of growth. And did you have a target of how many, uh, the, uh, the amount of growth that you wanted? Yes. At least we said that time we had the old structure of government or administration. And we said we must be in every district nice. in Kenya. Yep. Uh, so that's why you can see the first branches. And also we needed to 
have a national outlook. That's so powerful. That is, I didn't. In fact, I didn't. I didn't know uh, the. The, the, I love what you've said about that because mm. equity, when I think of equity, I think yes. national. Yes. I don't think a certain uh, demographic or... Yeah, yeah. So we had to now branch out to where we were not because we said we want to become... At that time, we were, we were becoming a Kenyan bank. Yes. Meaning uh, Nyanza, Rift Valley, uh, Coast, mm. Northeastern. We needed to be there. So we covered all the districts. So actually now, like the branches we opened in 2005 covered Kakamega, Bugoma, Kisumu, Mombasa, Malindi, and several in Nairobi. Nice. So in an attempt to cover the whole country. And then the next phase now we are going to more in Rift Valley, all the, all the districts. Yes. Then we went north, Garissa, Isiolo, Mandela. And eventually, even when now the governance structure was changed to counties, mm there was only one place we were not, that was Lamu. And God. that was where we quickly went. So we covered all the 47 counties. Mm. Of course, some have more than others, yes, like, but I mean, we are in all the counties. In 2005, December, January 1st, yes. what does the balance sheet look like? How many, how many, first of all, how many people are in equity? Have you hit a million yet? The customers? Yes, customers. No, no, not yet. We had about 500,000 customers. So half a million. Half a million. We had um, 18 branches. Mm. The balance sheet was 3 billion Kenya shillings. Mm. Um, then staff, we were 500 staff members. My staff number is 712. 712? Yeah, 712. <laughs> mm. So... It was a small bank. But what is interesting is how the growth has happened. Mm -hmm. Because if you are to compare that now, we, we, we actually hit the 1 million client mark in 2006. Wow. And do you know what had happened in 2006? Uh -huh. The listing on the stock exchange. Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> We're coming back to talk about the stock exchange. Let's take a two-second break. <laughs> You're Man. getting really excited.